hard as I try, I can't remember her name. Mrs. Lawson or Mrs. Hartford. Uh, maybe it was Maple. It's funny how sometimes the people we remember the least make the greatest impression on us. I do remember she wore diamonds. And she always dressed in fine clothing as if she's going out. Although she never did and nobody ever came to visit her. She taught me to play the piano. It's not about how well you play. It's how you feel about what you're playing. Try this. yourself in the music. There were many changes. I'll do anything for you. Say it again.
to accept the idea that uh, HIV was, uh, was in fact something that existed, really. Maybe somewhere else, but not here. This was a land where nothing bad could happen. There were no illness, uh, no social disturbance, nothing at all. It was a perfect paradise, and, and no one dared speak about HIV. And when they did speak, uh, they, were, uh, they were told to keep their mouths shut and mind their own business. Because they are not a risk group. Um, on the other hand, we have very few um, open uh, members of risk groups that are coming out in society and talking about their status of HIV infection. The majority of the cases were reported uh, in 1991, 92, uh, and at that time, the majority of them were from institutions because the children in institutions were screened for HIV AIDS. After that, there were a lot of cases, much more numerous, coming from families. A făcut tot posibilul să ne ofere toate posibilitățile care le are un copil pe timp acela, un adolescent. The new cases discovered each year are, are going down. I'm, I would say, optimistic uh, from this point of view, and this, this trend uh, has confirmed over the last uh, few years. Um, but we have to, to be careful with, the, with this uh, compact group of young people with HIV AIDS to make sure that uh, they will uh, have uh, the right access to normality. Because uh, otherwise, if we push them into a corner, if we uh, not uh, make the right place for them in society, if we don't fight together with them to, to find the normality, um, uh, we will turn them into a vulnerable group. And this can Dacă pe o persoană normală care face parte dintr-o societate normală cu drepturi și obligații asemenea celor alți și cam așa aș vrea să în momentul când aude de a da și o ok, las cu să fie bine ceva în genul ăsta de reacție mi-aș dori să nu au sau nu știu păstrează distanța sau nu mai vorbesc cu cine pe
I think a daily point of light is someone who gives freely of themselves to help others. And I've always believed that in each individual, there's a point of light waiting to be revealed. In each community, a thousand miracles waiting to happen. I think a daily point of light is someone that is like a shiny star in the universe. I am Renard, and I am a daily point of light. And I volunteer because I'm very passionate about changing the world, and I feel that volunteering is a way to make a big difference through small acts. Um, right after Katrina, in my second semester as a freshman, I actually went to New Orleans, um, alternative spring break. It was really an emotional experience. You just saw like the devastation that hit the home. Um, everything really came together at the end when we actually met the owner of the house and he just told us about you know, all the stories and how he grew up there. I think it was like a three generation house and it, the tears on his face and just the excitement and the um, passion that he had for being a part of that community and, for, and the appreciation that he expressed for having us there meant a lot. I'm Mackenzie. Atlanta tonight. Scarlett O'Hara resembled her creator, Margaret Mitchell. She is very volatile emotionally and psychologically. She's now in the spotlight. And so everything she does is famous. She can have almost no area of secrecy anymore about what she's doing. Margaret Mitchell still had a few Here to perform for us now, Tina Q. I feel so alone, not by your side. Why do I feel wrong for loving you? I can't sit still, thoughts are flooding through. Is this real? I wanna know. I was actually singing around the house all the time. And my mom was like, I'm just going to put her in singing classes. And uh, she took me to Peggy Still Music. And I was four years old. And I remember walking in there. And I was really nervous. And I remember taking my first, like, doing my first song. It was like a spaghetti song, I think. And then I started doing The Little Mermaid. I hit the ground. 